Hi, my name is Deborah Henny. I'm a wife, author, mother, speaker. Today I'm going to release a prophetic word entitled, Come Back, Conquer. And I felt the Lord say, it's the season of the comeback. I am positioning, even now, many at every level for a comeback. There will be a comeback in seats of leadership and authority. This will occur in government, business, and ministry. Through this comeback, there will be a conquering of light over darkness as I cause the prism to reveal what is hidden. This will be a season of suddenly, even though the waiting has been long up to this point. I am and have been calling many to come back to me so they can reap the blessings of this comeback season. Come back. Conquer in the comeback. There will be a great release of my blessings that will usher in the comeback and the conquer. There have been many that have said nay, but I have said yay. There's a yes and an amen in my promises. I have said that I will bless and prosper family lines. I am blessing the generations and no nay is going to stop it. No yay to the things I say nay to is going to stop it. I have declared and decreed family and sanctified it according to my vision and my word. I have called mothers to arise and fathers too. I've called them to go forth in my truth to shine a great light into the world. My word is truth, will accomplish what I desire, and is a plumb line for the comeback. I have placed my plumb line in position. It is leveling and aligning. It is my kindness and my severity. It is a guard that cleaves. I'm calling my people to love what I love and to hate what I hate. I'm calling my people to bless what I bless and reject what I reject. The prison will lay bare what has been hidden and cause a great exposure. But this is necessary for healing. The plumb line will cause a shaking of all that can be shaken. But this is necessary for cleansing. It's the comeback season. Okay, so again, in the prophetic word I released yesterday, there's a lot of similarities uh, or some similar themes. Even though that word I received back in March of 2023 and this word was released to me on July 6th of 2023. So I'm kind of skipping around in the days that I received the word, but in part because I just kind of really sensed that this was an urgent word and it was a word that needed to be released right now. Um, This sense of a comeback and the prism specifically was very, very strong. Now I had received this sense of a prism causing a revealing, a revelation, an exposure of things that had been hidden, you know, that things... They aren't what they appear to be um, and that the prism was going to be placed and cause a great exposure. So I'm curious to see how that, what that means and how that plays out. Um, Again, as I said in the last video, I am not a news person. I am not a political person um, at all. (laughs) So um, I, uh, so I'm kind of curious to see or to hear maybe through the grapevine, you know, what God winds up doing through this. Um, he has a lot of yay and nay in here, which makes me feel like, I mean, that's not how I talk. So it makes me feel like there is a political implication in this word. Again, how that plays out, I don't know. He talks about family, all right? He hasn't shown me that yet. Let's just put it that way. He talks about family and sanctifying fa- sanctifying the family and the model and what a family is. Uh, I know he had talked to me words before about mothers and fathers, that there's going to cause a great light um, as we align with the plumb line. Again, yesterday I was talking about the reset and the plumb line being in place, that plumb line from heaven to earth. It was a straight line that was just radiant glory connecting heaven to earth. And as we align with that, there's a huge blessing and a great um, generational blessing that God wants to to release. Again, he talks about family and the sense with this specifically was a leveling and that balancing in the mother and the father, the revelation of the mother and the father together. And that that was going to be, uh, there was going to be an overflow of blessing from that to children uh, and specifically, uh, healing with children. Um, and, and yeah, so, and I think this is again, there are some political implications here. So again, I'm curious to see what God winds up, how this winds up playing out. But I'm really sensing 
healing for children and um and freedom to bondage and captivity of children um again i um i'm i'm excited to see what god has in store and how he he keeps saying i say yay love what i love hate what i hate and that is something he has been putting in me so strongly and so deeply to love what he loves and to hate what he hates and it kind of really goes back to that awe of god and the fear of god placing him above any and everything um, and aligning with him above any and everything uh, i know in the bible it talks about the fear of the lord keeps you pure so again that plumb line, that purity, that aligning with his ways, loving what he loves and hate what he hates. And remember, God loves people. So when he talks about loving what he loves and hating what he hates, he'll talk about sin issues, but not the person. The person, God loves that person. Um, so again, just kind of releasing in our hearts the heart of the Lord, the mothering heart of the Lord, the fathering heart of the Lord, and that healing and the blessing that comes from that, I, again, talks about shaking removing what is not of him and causing an alignment with what is of him. And again, he talks about government, leadership, business leadership, and ministry also. Um, the kindness and the severity. That is, again, something he's been really putting in my heart. My kindness and my severity. Um, so it's going to be a very interesting time to see uh, how this winds up playing out. But again, he's saying it's a comeback season. And in order to reap the blessings, the kindness of the comeback season, we need to align with the Lord. Love what he loves, hate what he hates. Because um, otherwise, the other side of that is the severity of God. Um, so again, I encourage you to press into the Lord, align with the Lord, love the Lord, love what God loves, and hate what he hates. Um, and let's see how what God winds up doing. Blessed.